continuing our coverage of the Curtis Reeves murder trial. Reeves was found not guilty on all counts late Friday night. The defense argued that Reeves was defending himself in a dangerous situation. ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill joins us live now with more on the case. Anthony. Julie, a lot of people are still trying to process that not guilty verdict. Curtis Rees was found not guilty Friday night of second degree murder and aggravated battery. This comes after eight long years of delays in moving this case to trial. Reeves shot and killed Chad Alston in 2014 in a Pasco County movie theater during a dispute they had over the use of a cell phone. Now the defense essentially argued that Reeves was afraid for his life and defending himself. The prosecutors argued that Reeves should have never had a gun and a public movie theater in the first place and had no reason to fear for his life. Now, many people were expecting a guilty verdict because of all of the evidence, including video evidence. Here's ABC Action News legal analyst Jeffrey Swartz. In this type of case with all of this evidence and videos to review and all of that says that these jurors went back there, at least the massive majority of them, okay, went back there with their mind made up and it wasn't going to change. Um, and if there was anybody voting for guilty, it was just a matter of convincing them they were wrong. And now many people are questioning what kind of precedent this verdict sets in future cases, in future trials where someone kills another person and then says that they were afraid for their lives and defending themselves. But again, the defense was able to convince and appeal to the jury's sensibilities and convincing them that, you know, he was an older guy who was afraid for his life and he was defending himself. Obviously, this is a conversation that will continue and we will continue to cover this here on ABC Action News. For now, I'm live in Tampa. Anthony Hill. ABC Action News.